when the narcissist hits rock bottom. Many people experience rock bottom where they are forced to recognize the existence of something, where they are forced to accept that if they don't change, their crisis is only going to continue. And they don't do it because someone else is telling them to. They do it because they know that they need to. It takes a lot of work, but gradually they will recover from this. Narcissists also have their own rock bottom. They are addicted to attention. They are driven by validation and admiration. They will do whatever it takes to get it. They will be very angry or depressed if they can't have it. And yet they will deny the existence of this addiction. They will attempt to explain or justify their behavior. Or they will blame everyone else. They are very impulsive. They do things without thinking because they're only thinking about themselves. They have no regard for the feelings or desires of other people. They have a poor ability to manage their emotional responses. They will often experience sadness, anger, irritability and frustration. They are far more miserable than the average person. They are far more unhappy and uncomfortable. Their lives are filled with anxiety. They cannot deal with criticism. They have a fear of being abandoned. They have a fear of being exposed. They have a fear of losing their power. They are constantly worried, tense and afraid. But they are always trying to fight against it. They are always trying to defend themselves against their own anxiety. Their defense against their own anxiety comes out as grandiosity. They have to be impressive and opposing in appearance or style. They have to display a pompous superiority and pretentiousness. It also comes out as entitlement, where they have to believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges or special treatment. They will be arrogant. They will experience violent, uncontrollable anger. And this is all designed to protect them. It's very difficult for people to deal with. And it is also very unpleasant for the narcissist. It causes them discomfort and unhappiness, which is why they're so unfriendly and inconsiderate. Narcissists are very vulnerable people, but they cannot be vulnerable with you. Instead, it comes out as rage. It just makes them really angry. Because their own vulnerability being displayed makes them feel disgusted. It triggers them to reflect on their shame. It is not uncommon for a narcissist to hit rock bottom. Many of them end up in prison. Many of them lose their jobs. Or their relationship partner leaves them. This is the narcissist's idea of hitting rock bottom. Where they can no longer charm their way out of it. But the reason why they engaged in this behavior for so long is because there wasn't any consequences. 
there was no unwelcome or unpleasant result or effect of their actions. They were given chance after chance. People believed in what they were saying. People trusted them. Narcissists are also more likely to hire a lawyer to allow them to escape from a difficult situation. So even after all of the bad things they've done to people, they always find a way to get away with it. They always find a way to dodge the consequences. When they do something wrong, they always find a way to shift the blame onto someone else. They always come out with an undamaged reputation in spite of scandal or misjudgment. They always find a way to, to convince people to believe in something. Or they will force them into submission until everyone believes that someone else is responsible for the narcissist's behavior. But there are situations where there is no amount of money or power that can help them. There is no amount of lawyers that can save them from the difficult situation. There is nothing they can do to get them what they want most. And what they want most is to be a part of a family. They want to have the perfect career. They want the perfect image and reputation. But many narcissists do hit rock bottom where all of this goes away. Some narcissists who hit rock bottom will try to make meaningful changes while others will spend the rest of their lives being bitter and resentful. Feeling as though they have been treated unfairly. They will be mad at the world. They will play the victim role and they will be full of rage. They end up alone with no friends or company where they are very angry. They have minimal contact with other people. They burned all the bridges. So unless there is money involved, people don't want anything to do with them. But there are also a very small number of narcissists who hit rock bottom, who do become self-reflective. They gain the capacity to introspect and learn more about their fundamental nature and essence. They recognize the problems that they've created. They recognize that they are the cause of it. They become more modest and humble. They're able to lower their view of their own importance. They accept that they are not better than other people. They become more responsible. And they may genuinely want to put things right. They may want to correct the mistakes that they have made. They may not feel the need to be the center of attention anymore. They may not be as superficial as they were before. Instead of worrying so much about their clothes or hair, 
they may be more focused on what really matters. They may be more focused on making connections and strengthening their character. They may not spend as much time on social media. They may give you more time to talk. They may listen to you when you speak. And they will begin to find pleasure in the little things in life that they never noticed before. They will become more appreciative. They will be more grateful for what they have. But to do this, they have to understand the importance of empathy and compassion. They need to understand the importance of showing concern for the sufferings and for, for the sufferings and misfortunes of other people. They need to want to help people who are sick, hungry, or in trouble, rather than looking down on them, rather than treating them with contempt. They need to be able to regulate their own emotions. They need to be able to self-soothe. Even if the narcissist does hit rock bottom, it is highly unlikely that they are going to take a direct course to meaning and purpose. If you are with a narcissist, do not waste your time waiting for them to hit rock bottom in the hopes that they may change. If they fall, they are going to take you down with them. They are not going to drown alone. You cannot confront the narcissist. You can't tell them that they're arrogant and entitled. You can't tell them that they have no empathy. Even if you tried to confront them on this, the word salad would go on forever. Their monologue would go on and on for the rest of the day. When you confront the narcissist on anything, all you're going to get is unintelligible, extremely disorganized speech. Because they have a mental disorder, they cannot use logical reasoning. You will find yourself trapped in another emotionally driven conversation. Where they are dismissing everything you say or trying to shift the blame onto you. They're never going to look at themselves long enough to make any positive changes. So don't waste your time confronting them. Don't waste your time waiting for them to hit rock bottom. They might hit rock bottom at some point, but that doesn't mean you're going to get the result that you want. They might just try to take you down with them. They might blame you for their fall. Thank you for watching. I hope this video, res video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor, Dakota, UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.